Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of One Piece, which is on chapter 950. Now, this chapter just got translated recently, or should I say just maybe an hour ago, which I couldn't really find out until one hour later. Really upset in knowing that the chapter got translated very, very late. But you know, it is what it is. I can't really like um, start complaining too much because someone's actually doing the translations of One Piece at least. And you know, yeah. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that Luffy did ask Kid, Hey, you wanna um, join me up to defeat Kaido? You're more than welcome to. But Kid, after he got betrayed by um, Hawkins and Apico Man, Apple Man, whatever that guy is called. Kid decides not to join up with anyone and will choose his own path and tells Killer, let's go rescue our allies, you know? And we see to it that the allies, or should I say the prisoners of the Udon Mines, were kind of reluctant to help Luffy out or even serve him because he's a pirate like Kaido. How we know he won't betray us, blah, blah, blah. But we also see to it, of course, um... That Luffy is really in bad shape right now because he took all that contagious poison whatsoever. And we see to it, of course, Chopper's trying to find an antidote for him. And, you know, we see to it that, like, um... That Luffy calls Momonosuke an idiot after Momonosuke calls Luffy an idiot, blah, 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 and a coward. But we also see to it that after Momonosuke made his, like, um... Made his freaking, like, um... Um, appearance in front of the prisoners, they finally bow down to him and says that they are safe. But what made them actually want to follow follow Luffy now or follow Momonosuke is because they needed someone to actually guide them. And we see to it that Momonosuke gets ready to like him tell everything to them of what happened that day and why we are here now, you know? And we see to it that um What's his name? Rizal's friend. All I know is he's the guy who looks like who looks like a frog whatsoever. Um, he's really so relieved to see Momonosuke alive, and he's gonna be a gro a good emperor soon. But aside from that, we go to a scene with Shutemaru, Kinemon, and Inu Garashi, and they head to a graveyard where a lot of graves were were planted because of what happened. Like. Many years ago, like 10 years ago, if anything, that Shutemaru has been telling Inugarashi and Kinemon of what happened, that 10 years ago, they gotten very impatient of having to wait and decide to go attack Kaido. So we see to it that, like, um, we see a backstory where Shutemaru was trying to calm his army down. Like, we have to wait. We can't rush in and act like idiots. If we do that now, everything will be for naught or something. But unfortunately, because of Kaido's army has been harassing them of destroying their crops, their wells, and everything else, they've gotten way too impatient and got really upset. They therefore like um, give a couple parting words with Shutemaru about having a game they played when they were young kids, you know? And they get ready to go into like um, battle mode and go after Kaido and his army. But we see too that Shutemaru in vain tries to beg them please come back we have to wait don't be stupid please but it was too late by that time everyone who attacked Kaido those 10 years ago or a decade ago they end up losing their life and most likely the army they had was in shambles and we see too that Shutemaru did ask Inugarashi and Kinemon like why did it require 20 years to do this huh and we see to it that Inigarashi uh, decides to answer shoot tomorrow by saying we'll find that out once we end this all, you know. And we see to it that like um, shoot tomorrow gathers his armies and says get ready in eight days of time on the night of the fire festival. We exact our revenge on Onigashima and Kaido and avenge Odin ourselves, you know. We pre prepare to take the heads of the pirate Kaido and Shogun Orochi. And if you have the resolve, let's do this, you know. And, you know, things kind of like them um, got along and Shutemaru decides to like um, team up with them after revealing what happened and he's been waiting for a while, a long time. We have, we've had 20 years to become stronger and we did. We go to a scene with Zoro taking down a bunch of ninjas and he ends up talking to Hiyori, Momonosuke's sister. He does, he does reply coldly to Hiyori or Momonosuke's sister that you are kind of like him in the way, but don't worry about it. 
If I let you die, I will never face Momonosuke myself, and I'd be ashamed to do so. We're going to the snowy house, right? And he always like, yeah, you want to go after the guy like um, who took your sword, and don't worry about Otoko, as Zoro explained to Hiyori or Hiyori, you know, or Momonosuke's sister. We see to it that Zoro explained that I don't understand what that guy is, or him saying like you don't know the true value of Shusui, but. I don't feel right if I don't have it at my waist, and I can't forgive Orochi, and I will definitely avenge Tonoyasu, you know? And we see too that Hiyori says she, want, she wants to kill Orochi with her with, with my own hands. So, I don't know how it's gonna go out, but one thing for sure, if Zoro is to face Orochi head on, I expect the battle to be pretty tense, especially for Zoro himself. I mean, like... I mean, we all, a lot of Zoro fanboys have to agree with me on this. He may have been trained under the world's greatest swordsman for two years, but there are many enemies that even the world's greatest swordsman may have, like, take his time to defeat, possibly. But aside from that, the chapter ends up with, with Hawkins getting ready to interrogate Law, who refuses to answer anything, and he is showing great will not to, like, say a single damn word. So, pretty much, it just shows what happened, you know, we see to it that the prisoners of the Udon Mines bow to Momonosuke the moment he reveals himself and gets ready to explain everything. As for Shutemaru, he decides to explain everything what happened to his armies with Kinemon and Inugarashi listening. As for Zoro, he needs to get his sword Shusui back before the final battle, otherwise he can't really win or be complete without it. Then the chapter ends up with Law being interrogated by Hawkins, who, who Law himself decides not to freaking like um talk at all, which shows a lot of will and knowing that he won't betray anyone. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.